Okay, what I have here is probably one of my favorite small files. Okay, um, yeah, I really like this file. It's a vintage file. It gets into those really small spaces. Uh, since I've owned this, which is probably about 30 years, I've never had a handle for it. What we're going to do today is uh, finally make a handle for it. All right, so to make a handle, we're going to utilize a piece of scrap, wood. This is a leftover piece from, uh, from another project. Okay, but there's enough here to make a nice little handle. All right, we cut that piece down. We got a nice little billet. All right. Uh, and so we're going to start to turn that.
right so before we put the file in we're just going to um we're just going to clean it up we're going to make sure it's rust free and uh, then we're just going to blow it right now we're just using birchwood casey blue and rust remover this in some tap water just to neutralize the action on that all right and it's going to dry it off make sure it's nice and dry so hit that with a heat gun and make sure that's nice and dry now we're going to use some virtual casey super blue liquid gun blue so we're going to re, re blue and also protect this metal with uh, gun blowing. In my opinion, <clears throat> it looks good and it does provide a, uh, a bit of uh, protection, okay, from uh, future rust, okay. Uh, I just happen to really like gun blowing metal. I think it looks awesome. So that's that. Let's let that sit for 20 seconds or so. Now we'll just hit that with some uh, water. That's all. Not a big deal. Wipe that off. Dry that off. Now let's hit it with some Lubricant. But before we hit it with lubricant, we're just going to hit it with some double lot brass wool. Okay. That'll take off any of the residue. Kind of leaves like almost like a dust. Drying that off real well. Now we're just going to hit it with some marble. Soak that good. And that'll penetrate into. That'll that'll get into all the little grooves and whatnot. We won't have to worry about it rusting. That's it. Let's just wipe up the mess. Let any excess residue or residual oil nice and clean. Just going to set that aside for a minute just to clean the area. Get some super clean, diluted down to 15%. Super clean on everything. Love this stuff. Super clean. Pretty much safe on all surfaces. All right. Well, then what we have to do now is we have to make a collar for the handle. All right. So we cut a piece of half inch copper tubing for the collar we're just going to put that on there a little little bit of super glue and so that won't come off okay so we uh flush that up you can see it's nice and flush would beveled the edge here a little bit. I, I I didn't. I failed to mention before that I beveled this edge as well uh, on the uh, on the copper band. Okay, I used my uh, my uh, uh, Arbor Press. Okay, with a with a doming tool. 
Okay, so at this point we're just going to uh, finish this up by putting the file back in.